We're learning new details tonight about the woman who posted video of now former Miami Dolphins offensive line coach Chris Furster snorting a white substance. The video quickly went viral and led to Furster's resignation from the team. That woman, Kajwana Nige, told her side of the story this morning, and it's one that's not suitable for younger viewers. After he sent the video, he low-key kind of threatened me um, in case I end up exposing the information. So before he can do anything to me, I just felt like that also needed to be exposed. Days after Miami Dolphins offensive line coach Chris Furster resigned, the woman who leaked the video of him snorting a white powder called into the Dan LeBetard show on ESPN Radio and ESPNU. She told the host she met Furster in California when the Dolphins escaped South Florida ahead of Hurricane Irma. She says he called for entertainment, specifically to do drugs off her body. Chris Furster used me as his cocaine platter. Okay, how many times did that happen? Oh, multiple. Uh, you don't know how many times? No. The woman said their relationship lasted a month and a half for two months and that the now infamous footage is only about a week old. This is a regular habit of his anywhere they go. It doesn't matter if they're in Miami, if they're in London, if they're in New York. Like I know about everywhere they went because I was invited everywhere they went. And everywhere they went, he would send me other footage. Like that's not the only footage I have. This is what people need to understand. That's not the only piece of footage. That's just like a tip of the iceberg. She said he kept his supply in his desk at work. On Monday, the video's release stunned the Miami Dolphins organization. Obviously, he's, he's disappointed. He's upset. He's mad at himself. But, you know, it just, it's unfortunate. The team and the NFL launched an investigation. So why release the footage? When you sent it out, what was your motive? My motive was just to um, basically, uh, basically expose the inequalities that's in the system. It's not just NFL, just pure point blank. It's inequalities that comes with being a minority compared to being a white privileged person in America, just in general. During the course of the more than 25-minute interview, Nige said Forrest Furster made a lot of promises, but not a financial promise. She said he wanted to marry her and to have kids with her. Furster has not commented since, since his initial statement announcing his resignation. 